What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing the unboxing and review of Selena Cow Catwoman Life-Size Bus by Infinity Studio. This is going to be my third piece from them and I haven't done any serious review of it yet. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing this. And as you may know, you might have seen like photos from Chinese collector before and I thought they looked really great. So I, let's hope it meet the expectation. Let's get it.
branding I pay no attention to all of your demanding To your lack of understanding The ship must be abandoned I just wanted to make you smile Wanted to show you a different kind of life But you couldn't open up your heart to me To me Sometimes the best thing is goodbye so done and you try So my fake in the design Only thing to say is goodbye Goodbye, goodbye I try, I try I don't hate you but goodbye I don't hate you but goodbye All right, now that we finished assembling her, let's see what came in the box. So we have this Infinity White Gloves, which I don't use. The AC adapter, the base does light up. We'll check that out later. And you have this pamphlet of something. And I guess this is for insurance where you have to fill out your name, whatever, but I don't use that. And then we have the assembly guide, which I don't use either. And of course, we get the certificate. This is 130 out of 598. And in the back, you have a Catwoman in the background. And the storm is coming with a kiss. Very nice. Then also, you have this uh, air blower. You can just blow out away the dust from her face. And I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. It has some uh, Chinese writing on it. I tried to turn it, open it, but it's just one solid piece, which I have no idea what it does. And then this right here, it said infinity on it and has this whatever what it is. But uh, when you open it up, I guess this is where you refill the ink or whatever, because when you press on it, see, I don't know, so I don't know what it is, and I'm not sure if they want us to actually uh, put this onto Selena Kyle face or not, but I'm not gonna do that, so we're gonna put this back in a box. All right, let's check out the details now. Here in the front of the sub base, you see the Dark Knight Rises, where she, the movie she's in, and then this top of the bridge, and the bridge going behind here as well. The sub base itself is a regular sub base, but it has a light up feature here. I will show that to you in a bit. And the black thing that you see all the way around, this is the mono rail. After that, it's just the Gotham City. You see different depth, different height of the buildings. Okay, this one goes all the way around, and this is where you put in the AC adapter. Catwoman outfit, you can see it's all skin tight. And the zipper came in separate piece. On the side where she has the long glove, these are all sculpted. And you saw how I put the hand in, which is great. This one as well, except the right arms go on the top. Check out the suit in the back. All sculpted with a lot of patterns, with curves and the color is kind of smooth. All right, and moving up to her face, you see she has a red lipstick on, and this is all silicone, 
and also a uh, glass eye so you can uh, put the goggle up. You can see her glass eyes and artificial eyelashes and also rooted hair as well. Just take a look on the side. And the goggle itself here, you can actually move it around. You can um, turn it all the way backward like this and it will look like a cat ears behind, which is a very cool gimmick. That's pretty cool. The goggle itself, this is all sculpted and you can actually move it up, down, whatever you like. The strap in the back, this is rubber and these are all sculpted. So when you put it on her face, just make sure that you have it loose enough and you're not scraping the silicone. But the details, this is kind of like the Kevlar look to it. The design of it is pretty cool. I like this. All right, let me turn the light up feature on. There we go. Let's check out the dimension. Let's start from the base itself. The length of the base is about 15 and a half inches or about 40 centimeter. And the depth of it, it is about 13 inches or about 33 centimeter. Now the length of the full arm to arm, it is around 27 inches or about 69 centimeter. And the depth, it is around 30, no, 14 inches or about 36 centimeter. The height, it is around, it's close to about 31 inches or about 78 centimeter. So she's not as big and not as small either.
All right, now I'm gonna give my thought on this Catwoman, and afterward, I'm going to do a comparison with Wonder Woman and Batman itself. All right, start off with this, the AC adapter, I think it's just way too short of the cord. It needs to be a lot longer for it to work. Now let's check out the base. The sub base is kind of bland, just like Wonder Woman. The bridge and the Gotham City building, I think they look really fake, like plastic. So I think they should have done a little better job on that. But the light up feature looks cool when you turn it on or when you turn it off. I love that the light blue hue that it gives. But yeah, just the city itself, it just looked really bad in person. So I'm not really digging all this, but it's a good concept though. The light up feature, here we go, we turn it on. And I think it looks pretty cool. It kind of give that good glow to the statue itself if you have it in the dark or whatever. So I like that. Okay, as far as her suit goes, I think the pattern is pretty nice all together with the creases and everything. But the color, this is just way too smooth. I think it needs to be uh, more detailed. Her suit in the front, it looks pretty good all together with the line coming through the side and the middle. But the zipper itself, this looks cheap. It's still okay when you put it on her, but still her color in the front here, it needs to be better as well. The gloves that she has on on both hands, I think that looks really awesome. Like you can see a lot of texture and patterns with the crease all up in here. And I really do like the engineering of the hand where you have to put this key in and you can hide it with this thing. That's really cool. For her right hand, the way that she has it posing, it looks like she is talking through a radio or something, but that's none. It looks kind of odd. As far as the face, I think they did a great job of making it look like Anne Hathaway, the actress for the Catwoman here. The only thing that I don't like about it though is on her forehead. If you zoom in, you can actually see the little white spot. I'm not sure what that is. So far, I'm trying to like wiping it, but it's not coming off. It's only at this spot though, like the rest of her face doesn't have that. So I'm not sure what that is. And the goggle here, I think it's great. The way that they make it movable and just be more interactive with it. And that's different kind of look that you can have on her. All right, and there is a strap in the back where you can tighten it or loosen it. So be careful when you put this on her that you do not actually scrape her face or anything. Just make sure it's loose enough on both sides. And just grab it and take it off slowly. And brushing the hair is pretty easy, as you can see. Nothing really tangled up, but you're gonna have some hair that's falling out. So just make sure you tell your wife or your girlfriend that <laughs> so they don't actually think you brought another woman in the house. All right, so this is Anne Hathaway without a goggle. And you can just see, man, I give it a very good 95%. I mean, they really did a good job. This looks just like her. I love the glass eyes. I think the eyebrows even looks really good as well. Even the lips, it's not too bright either. Even some mold on the face. Only one thing that I don't like is this little white spot that you see here on her forehead, like I said before, but overall, she looks great, man, in all angles. I'm very satisfied with this one, for sure. All right, now I got her with Batman and Wonder Woman. Here, the bat flag is the pimp right here. You know, having two girls on both sides. But you can see that she is about the same size as Wonder Woman, except She's a bit taller while Wonder Woman is kind of tilted her head downward. Yeah, it's about the same, which is very nice. And one thing they all, they all have in common is the base, the sub base. It's very bland, especially Wonder Woman. That's the only thing that I do not like about Wonder Woman. The rest is basically perfect. Like even the face, 
it's so much better than I thought it would be. Very happy with that. And even Batman, I think this, this is Ben Affleck, no doubt. A lot of people that came into my gallery, they always go here and just check him out because it really looks just like him. With all this stubble right here, it just make it even better. And one more thing about Wonder Woman, these are all silicone, like the whole arm is, except it's a little bit different from the face. The face is a little bit softer. The body is kind of hard. You can see here, yeah. But it looks really good. Here, even the finger, it's all silicone. You can actually pry it open because the lasso is actually the real material as well. It's pretty soft, but really cool. They did a really good job with the leather strap right here, all real leather as well. And these are all sculpted. They did a very nice job on here. If you look at a tiara, sometimes people say that the tiara is a little bit too small for her forehead. I don't think so, man. I think it looks great. Like you can adjust this however you like. I just kind of like it a little bit lower like that and a lot of people talk about like the crease is right here on her forehead it doesn't really bother me because the tiara actually kind of covered it anyways so I don't have a problem with that and the bat flex you just have to be careful when you move him I mean when you put him together there is a little keyhole for both of the arm and this one actually came in three big boxes while Wonder Woman and Catwoman came in just one box. Just keep that in mind, this one is a lot bigger but it also has a lot more presence as well. Just be careful, there are like different parts like even the thumb with the batarang here, they all came in separate piece and it's very sharp as well so you gotta be careful if you have your kids around or whatever. Yeah, and also this blade these are all magnetic. The one on his gauntlet and it's pretty fragile and the magnet doesn't really stay on here that well. The cape, I believe this is pleather, not real leather. So you have to keep it in a cooler temperature room otherwise it's going to crack. Just keep it away from the sun. That's only about bad thing that it has but uh, the base itself, it has a very nice texture and patterns to it kind of remind me of the the armored suit which i really like the detail on the tactical suit itself man love it with the battle damage all dirty up very cool and the cow this is all sculpted as well which is very nice like uh, it has more like a metallic look to it and here it's all dirty up very nice the skin tone is very good as well, even the lips. It's not too pinkish for the guy. And also you have the option of the goggle to have it cover his eyes or up like this. But I prefer to see his eyes anyways. Okay, a lot of people have doubts about these silicone statues, whether it will last long or not, but I can't really answer that for you. Uh, in my own experience, I own the Batman for about two years now and I don't have any problem with it. I think if you don't have the statue at the direct sunlight and you should be okay, they're not as fragile as you think. Also one more thing, when you are handling the silicone, just make sure you wear gloves so the sweat on your hand doesn't actually have the chemical reaction with the silicone itself. All right, overall, I really do love this bus, especially from Infinity Studios. That's why I have so many, and I still have a lot on pre-order left to come. Also, I paid about $3,600 for the Catwoman, which is a lot of money, but I think it is worth it. But the downfall is it takes up a whole lot of room because it is a full torso. So you have to think about that before you buying them. All right, but you guys let me know what you think of these busts. If you like it, if you have it coming or you are not a fan of it at all, let me know down in the comment. And always thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.